Hello, fourth grade clarinet players. Hope you guys are all doing really well this week. Um, I am excited to have this lesson with you. So uh, today we are gonna start out right with our whole clarinet together again, all right? Uh, again, always check those reeds, make sure that they're looking good, they're, they're not cracked at all. Just a quick note, if you need new reeds and you or your parents have not emailed me yet, please email me. Or if you didn't fill out that survey from, I think, two weeks ago now, um, just email me and let me know if you need new reads, okay? I've heard from probably about four different clarinet players that need reads, so I'm working on getting some sent out to you. So if you don't have any more reads or you're on your last one or you only have two left um, and one of them's maybe breaking, please email me, let me know. Um, if you still have a good several reads left or you had a box that you got, that's awesome. You're all set, you'll be set for a while. Um, but if you need some still, let me know. Okay, let's get going here. So we're gonna start out with our good warm up. Always, always start with a warm up when you're practicing. So today, it'll be the same as last week's warm up. We're gonna start out with whole notes or long tones on the three notes that we've learned so far. So we're gonna start with um, our E. So remember, thumb covered and pointer finger covered. This is my left hand. Left hand on top, always. Thumb, pointer finger. All right, if I turn the clarinet around, hopefully this is how you see it. Thumb there, pointer finger here. This is my left hand on top. Make sure you're using your left hand on the top of your instrument. All right, good. My right hand, I'm just gonna have it support the clarinet by sitting, um, having the clarinet thumb rest sit right on my thumb. Good, these fingers don't get in the way. All right, we're gonna start with a whole note. So a whole note looks like this, and it gets how many beats? Four, it's empty inside, four beats. All right, so we're gonna play a whole note first on our E, and then we're gonna play four quarter notes. Quarter notes look like this. How many beats does a quarter note get? One, every quarter note gets one beat. Now that stem, that line can go up, or it can go down, it doesn't matter. You guys will normally see it like this for a long time, like all of this year, it'll look like that. Okay, pretty much, maybe it'll be at the end of the year it changes, but. All right, whole note and then four quarter notes. When we do the quarter notes, we're gonna use our tongue. Remember, the tongue is gonna touch that reed. Ta, 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 all right? Inside your mouth. Don't stick your mouth, your tongue out of your mouth. Ta, 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 and it's just like the tip of my reed touching, or the tip of my tongue touching the reed. All right, here we go. E, whole note, and then four quarter notes. Two, ready, go. Nice job. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our D. Add your next finger. Make sure they're both covering, and we've got some good Cheerios. Ooh, you can see that one. It's a good Cheerio. Awesome, Cheerios, thumb, pointer, middle finger, Cheerios. Two, D. Go. And then add our next finger down to the C right here, covering. Now check all of them. Wiggle them around, make sure they're all covering. Make sure your thumb is covering. Right hand's doing the same thing, just holding on. Two on the C, go. And that's how you should warm up every time you get out your clarinet. Do that at home. Doesn't matter if you're watching this video or you're not. Always start out with that. All right, holding out those notes and then working on our tonguing with quarter notes. Okay, guys, first thing we're going to do is make sure our books are turned to page seven, seven in your book. All right, and we are going to start today with number 1.12, countdown. So hopefully this is one that you worked on last week. All right, we're going to play straight through it. I know this is review and we'll play the next one, turn around as review. So both of these, we're gonna play straight through it. Um, right now, it's really, really important that we just get our fundamentals down. So our posture, our tonguing, our embouchure, these muscles in our face, make sure they're doing the right thing, make sure our fingers are in the right spot, make sure it's our left hand on top, all right? We're gonna focus on doing that stuff. It's not right now all about 
just playing as much music as we possibly can. It's about really thinking about what we're doing and making sure we're doing it correctly, all right? We'll get to playing a ton of music later. It's all about repetition right now. So playing you know, the same couple songs and getting really good at them, making sure we can play them correctly and not stop as you're going. All right, so 1.12 countdown. I want you to try to stay with me through the whole song and so we can play it together. All right, from the beginning, Saying up nice and tall. This is thumb pointer, two, three. All right, thumb, one, two, three, for the low C. <clears throat> Here we go, starting at the beginning. One, two, to the end, go. or six beats. Remember, it's got that dot with a line over it, so it's called a fermata. That note is a fermata note, so that means you're just going to hold it longer than normal, right? Awesome. All right, guys, and let's go down to the next one. 1.13, 1 turn around. It's got that repeat sign at the end, remember, so we're going to play all the way to the end, and then we're going to jump back and play it at the beginning. All right, now in the song we just did, countdown, and this next one, turn around. If there's any spots that you are are slowing down or you're stopping or you need more time on that's okay pause the video work on it practice those spots and then go back and see if you can play it with me all right and if you're able to stay with me through the whole thing then you that means you know the song all right if you're not then just go back and work on it some more all right until you're ready to to go on and play through the whole thing with me all right and once you can play it with me and you feel good about it then you're ready for the new stuff, okay? But don't go to the new stuff ever until you feel really good and you're comfortable with the stuff that we've already done, all right? Or that we are, are practicing at any point. Don't go on until you're good and you're comfortable with what we just did. All right, awesome, guys. Here we go, 1.13, turn around with the repeat from the beginning. Here we go, using our tongue for every single note. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Rest, rest. Repeat. Rest. Move your fingers. Good job. If you got through that with me and you stayed with me for, through most of it, or if not all of it, then you are ready to move on and that's awesome. Um, okay, and if you're not, that's awesome too. That's okay, go back. That's how we get better. It's just by playing and practicing and working hard and repeating stuff over and over again. All right, and making sure we're doing the right thing and then it keeps getting better. It's all about just progressing and working to get better. Okay, so guys, really quick, I wanna do a quick review of all the rhythms that we've learned so far and our rests that we've learned. So I'm gonna show you a rhythm that you've learned and you're gonna tell me what it is. All right, so just say it to your computer or your phone or whatever you're using or somebody's phone, whoever, whatever you're looking at me on and say it out loud, all right? And then I'll tell you the answer and we'll also say the number of beats. So first thing, this right here is a, what kind of note? It's a whole note and it gets how many beats? Four, awesome. This over here is a half note and it gets two beats. Good, half note, two beats. All right, next. This is a quarter note and it gets one beat. This is a quarter rest and it gets one beat of silence, right? And then our last two 
This right here is what kind of rest? A half rest. Notice it looks like a hat. You could draw like a picture of Abraham Lincoln underneath, right? That's a half rest. Looks like a hat. And it gets how many beats? Two beats of silence. All right, and then this is a whole rest because if you were walking along this line, you'd fall into that hole in the ground. And it gets how many beats? Four beats of silence. Awesome. Make sure we're always reviewing those so we know what those different symbols mean. Right, music is all about learning all these new symbols and decoding them and understanding what they mean. So it's so important for us to go through them and practice them so that you see them and you know what it is. Okay, we are ready for the new two songs that we're gonna play today. Number 1.14 is what we're gonna start with. Hot Cross Buns. You guys know this song, you've played it many times, but this is the first time you're actually seeing the music in your book. And so that's exciting, actually seeing what the notes are um, for the song that you've already learned, all right? So that's pretty cool. So we start with half notes, right? Two beats, half notes, um, and we're gonna start right on our E. So even though some of you probably have this memorized and you can play it without looking, I want you to look at it so that you see what it is that you're playing, all right? Play what you know, right? And making sure that you're playing the right rhythms, but notice what it actually looks like, all right? It's really cool when you actually see what it looks like as to, uh, for what, you're, what you know already and what you're playing. Okay, let's play it together. Let's start out, um, let's just do the first two measures and let's air band it. Here you go, say it with me. First two measures, it's E, D, C, and then we have rest, rest, right? All right, why don't we just go through the rest of it and air band it too. Keep going. E, D, C, rest. Now you're going to tongue. C, 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 D, 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 E, D, C, rest. What's at the end? The two dots are called a repeat sign. We're gonna repeat it and play it again. All right, so let's play it from the beginning. Remember, we're gonna repeat. From the beginning together. One, set up tall, two, ready, go. Rest, rest. Rest, tonguing. you can hear me tapping my foot. If you can hear it, tap with me, all right? Tap your foot. Even if you can't hear it, when I count off, start tapping your foot, right? Music is all about keeping a really steady beat and feeling that beat. So as clarinets, it's really important for us and for everyone in the band to feel that beat and to stay with the beat. All right, guys, 1.15, here we go. We're gonna do this one as our last one for today. So notice it's missing something. All right, that piece of music in your book doesn't have something on there. Look, right here, here we go. If you read this right here, it gives it away. Draw in the bar lines, then play. So it's missing the bar lines. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna pause the video, find a pencil. It has to be a pencil, not a colored pencil, an actual pencil. It can be one that you sharpen, a good old-fashioned pencil, or it can be a mechanical pencil, but it needs to be a pencil, please. Okay, um, so I want you to go through with your pencil and figure out where the bar lines should be. Now remember, this is a little bit of math. There's a lot of math and music, all right? But I promise it's fun math. So every time we have a measure, look up at hot cross buns. We've got a half note, gets two beats, plus a half note gets 
two beats. So if you add that together, two plus two equals four. So that measure has only four beats. Now look at the next measure. We've got a half note, two beats, plus a half rest, two beats. So that measure equals four beats. Okay, every measure for right now with what we're doing gets four beats. So we just have to add together the beats until we get four. So we've got a quarter note gets one beat, plus a quarter note gets one beat, plus a half note gets two beats, add those together. One, two, three, four. So your first bar line is gonna go right after that half note. All right, you just draw a line straight down. All right, pause the video, finish it, write all the rest of the bar lines, making sure there's four beats in every measure. And then when you're ready, we're gonna play it. Here we go, from the beginning, all together. Pause the video if, you need, if you'd like to air band it first, go ahead, pause the video and air band it. All right, and when you're ready to play, we're gonna play together. Uh, remember, there's a repeat sign. One, two, beginning, and. Repeat. job guys remember if you haven't told me you need new reads and you do please email me and let me know um, otherwise I hope you have a great week happy practicing work on those songs for next week all right go through them work on our embouchure sitting up tall making sure we're working on tonguing all right getting a good warm-up each time I hope you have a great week and I will see you next Monday bye